Hello everybody, Advent is finally here and with it also Advent of Code 2023. For those who don't know this event, this is a yearly event that's taking place uh, online and it gives you for each of the days of Advent, for each of those 24 days, it gives you two programming puzzles to solve. And these programming puzzles are of a algorithmic nature. It's a very interesting way to evolve your skills, to learn more about programming and to uh, kind of dust off your algorithmic skills and get better at problem solving. Uh, here is the main website of the event. Uh, here's some inf general information about it. Uh, but after you log in, you get this calendar page where you uh, will see on each day a new problem being displayed in this list. So right now only the problem number one is unlocked and I will be solving that one today. I will be solving each of the problems in two ways. First, I will solve the problems myself using my own brain. And second, I will use ChatGPT to try if it's able to solve the problems using the code interpreter. Uh, I will publish these videos separately. So if you're interested in the ChatGPT solutions, uh, click on the link above and I will always link to the uh, solution of ChatGPT separately from the video as well. So I think uh, that's the basics and I think we are ready now to get started solving this problem, uh, this first day of advent of code. So the first thing you have to do, of course, is to read the description of the problem because often uh, people make the mistake of not reading it properly, uh, jumping right into solving the problem and then uh, find out that they uh, get, uh, they got some, some of the assumptions wrong and that uh, something is more complicated or there is some condition that makes the solution invalid. So I will first try to sol uh, read this uh, quickly. So first off, this is some, uh, every, uh, each of the problems has some nice story around it. Uh, so we will be helping the elves uh, to restore their snow operations. And there will be 50 stars. Uh, so actually it's 25 problems, uh, 25 days of advent and it's uh, 50, uh, 50 problems because each day you have two problems to solve. Uh, so for each part of the puzzle you get one star and so it means you can also solve just part of the part of the day the first uh, easier version of the problem and uh, leave the second one for later or you know take take your time solving it right so let's look into what the problem description says So we will be uh, we will be uh, using a trebuchet. And we have a calibration document that we will need to uh, read. And each line of that document contains a specific calibration value that needs to be recovered. Uh, the calibration value should be found by combining the first digit and the last digit uh, on that line to form a single two digit number. So we have uh, an example here where you have one ABC two uh, and so on. And the calibration values are one, two, Three eight. Uh, this should be one five. Yes, and on the last line there is only a one seven uh, digit. So that's both the first and the last. So seven seven. And the goal is to add up those uh, those numbers to produce the final total value. So it seems pretty simple. So let's now get this running. I will. Uh, make sure I'm logged in because it seems I it doesn't work yet. Just a moment. So okay, I'm logged in now, and let's go to calendar. 
and hopefully yeah so now i can input the uh, solution for the problem so there is usually a several one or several example inputs so this one is one of them but to for the for the whole solution of the problem you need to get your own puzzle input and interestingly the puzzle inputs are not the same for everyone so uh, two different uh, participants of this event will get different inputs as well so it means that you cannot really steal your solution from someone else because you need to really figure out for your specific input what's the solution so the the my uh, the input that i have for my purposes is here but uh, i will first start with the simple one so i can validate that my solution will be correct i already uh, pre-created my solution in visual studio here so it's um, i have two projects here with one tools project which contains some helpers that i will be using but um, the solution will go here into program cs and uh, I have two files here that I can use for input and output purposes. So I will place the input file here uh, in the input txt. And I have also set up the launch command so that input is piped into a, uh, a standard input of the, of the program and output is, piped, uh, output is piped as an output of the problem. So this way, I should be able to easily read the input from the console input and output the in, uh, output into the output file. All right, so let's get started here. Uh, so this the problem seems quite simple. So essentially, what we need is to write uh, read each line. Uh, so read the input line by line, and then find the first digit and last digit combine them into one number and then uh, then add them to a running total. So I will create a total, uh, which will be the count uh, kind of the, the current sum of the line of the input. Uh, and then I will go through each of the lines. So for each, so no, all right, uh, while, console read line is line so while there is some out input I will do a link expression maybe uh, so first digit first uh, line char is digit line so we get the first digit and to actually get the value of that digit like the numeric value I will um, subtract zero which means that I will get the actual integer value of that of the digit uh, the same thing for the last digit I could do uh, int parse but uh, this is kind of easier because this is a, just a single digit and now I need to produce the two digit number so it's gonna be first uh, first digit times 10 plus last digit and then I will do total plus full number so this way I should be able to get the solution uh, solution done and now I can do right line total and that should be the solution to the problem. So let's see if I run the problem, what happens? Okay. So let's see, it's already ended. But the output is not here, it's in the debug folder. Yeah. So one for two, which I think is what we were expecting. So one for two. So that's promising. Let's 
take the whole file, uh, put it as input, and run it again. So hopefully now in the output folder we should get 54990 and let's submit it and we were correct. So that is the first problem, the first part of the first day's puzzle solved. And now we continue to part two, which has now unlocked. So this is usually a more complicated version of the original problem. So now instead of digits, we have actually spelled out uh, spelled out numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, those are those are also valid digits. So we need to uh, search for both the actual digits and also string based digits. All right, this is gonna be more interesting. Uh, so now, uh, in this case, two nine is the actual number that we are looking for. So. So in the last line, so it's seven, six, I guess. Yes. So one, four, four, two, two, four, uh, one, three. Okay. Eight, three. So it's, it's definitely more complicated, but we should hopefully manage. So let's, um, I will just uh, paste the final solution uh, that was there to this file. So I have it for uh, later. And now let's do the day two, uh, uh, part two of this, tr this problem. So I will, for simplicity's sake, I will copy my existing solution and copy this simple input here. So let's now think about this. So uh, we need to uh, for uh, to need to uh, properly find the first index of both numbers and textual uh, textual digits. So in this case, I think it would be appropriate to build some kind of dictionary that uh, gives us the various values and then their numeric values as well. So I will do. Oh, digits. Well, this is uh, so I will do a dictionary of string and int. So st the string will be the textual representation and the uh, int will be the numeric one. So I will do simply one and two. Oh, not car but string of course uh, so two two maybe now it will give us to autocomplete now okay let's write it ourselves three or maybe like that's uh, we can we can do without this we can do it manually so let's do uh, the textual ones instead. Okay. So no, no other suggests no AI here, unfortunately. Four. Five. Ah, come on. Six. Seven. And eight. Ah, come on. And finally nine so these are, are all the textual digits 
and now we need to also add the uh, numeric ones and by, we'll do a simple for loop here uh, so from one to nine we will do uh, all digits add a to string and i so we add those numeric values there so now uh, it's gonna be fairly similar to this one although we will now need to and it did this to go through all the options find the one that has the lowest index and the largest index and then use that one so var uh, index is going to be line let's initialize it to line length and to var last index minus one var first value is going to be the numeric value of that number and var last value is going to be the numeric value of the last digit so now what we will do is to do a for e for loop through all digits and then look for index which is going to be the index of well uh, for each is better in this case so for each digit in all digits so if so we'll look for the index of the key of the digit so if the index is minus one we can skip it because it's not there ah. continue and now if the index is smaller than the first index that we have currently we store the index and the, the value and now we do also our uh, index equals line last index so we find the last appearance of that uh, of the digit and then we do if index is greater than last index uh, then we store it and uh, also store the value now we should have the two values uh, for the two values so we go first value last value and that should be our solution hopefully so now when we run this we should hopefully get the correct solution to the problem so now let's do from folder bin debug and output and it's 281 which is also the expected value here so now let's just take the same thing uh, and run it against the full input which should be here so the full input I put it here run it and now let's see what the output file says it's 54473 and that's correct so now we have two stars and uh, the correct solution for both problems of the first day of advent of code 2023 so I think that's it for this video of today I will do another one for the chat GPT solution with code interpreter but so far so good so we have now solved the first day and we can look forward to the second one which is coming in 19 hours so uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified about new videos and I will try to go forward with uh, advent of code until uh, the time constraints prevent it or until I run out of ideas how to solve the problems so hopefully it's gonna be fun uh, last year I managed to do it till the 18th or 19th I'm not completely sure but you know time constraints can be tricky so we will see how it works this, this year so thank you again for uh, joining uh, keep coding definitely join advent of code try it out yourselves it's very fun and i will see you in the next video bye bye